you guys doing? Uh, it's been a while since I've actually made a video tutorial, so I thought I'd just uh, make one today. It's actually a request from my cousin, because he wants to... He's running a Vista 64-bit, and he'd like to uh, run his iToy under a 32-bit Windows XP install, but he doesn't want to take off his Vista, so we're going to um, be installing... VMware Workstation, which is a virtual machine application which allows you to uh, run more than one operating system at a time basically. It virtualizes a hard drive where you can install like an operating system like XP or Linux or even Mac OS. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get that. Actually it's not a free program. There are um, free alternatives such as uh, Java Sun's uh, uh, virtual box which I've used and is not as good as VMware Workstation I have a uh, my thing up here just, is, just so you can see how this works sort of it's like a total virtual install it's yeah it's pretty cool I just use it to uh, mess around with some stuff you know you get no it, it doesn't affect your uh, main operating system install at all so if you get a virus on your virtual machine then it won't it, it cannot it's impossible for it to infect like it can't infect my Vista install so it's cool but I'll show you how, it's like a five hundred dollar application I don't even know how much it is but uh... it's a lot of money so I'll show you guys how to get that for free too so let's get started then alright um... start off you might want to get the application itself so I'll put a, I'll put a, I'll put it up in an annotation or something but you can see here We'll just download it from here. If you have Windows, click on Windows. It asks you to register or log in. Just register. Just use like a bunch of like bum names and a bum email address. Doesn't matter. You don't have to verify anything. So once you download that, um, yeah, you're good to go. You just have to run it, install it. Um, if you don't know how to install it, I mean, it's pretty much common sense, you know. Just, you shouldn't even be doing it if you don't know how to install it so you know um and there are four four serial keys don't even mind this I'll just delete that okay there are four serial keys you can use I'll put those up too and you guys can pick whichever one you want if one doesn't work then I mean yeah you have some others to uh, fall back on so I mean that's cool so yeah and then here I'll show you how to make a virtual machine. Now once you uh get your thing, hang on, let me close mine mine out here. Yes, okay. Alright. There we go. Now it's all closed. So once you install the application and uh put in your serial key and such, um you wanna go to the this screen will pop up and you wanna go to new virtual machine and it'll take you to the wizard and you want to click on typical you want to go next now if you have a disk if you have an XP disk like I have an XP disk but this one didn't work for some reason because it's not genuine and it usually doesn't ask me for a CD key but this time it happened to ask me for a CD key I, I don't know why and I don't have the CD key anymore so yeah so I actually went online and downloaded another copy of XP from one of my sources and you could just if you just download it and it's an it should be an ISO format hopefully if it's an ISO format then you can just uh, browse for it and do it and it'll recognize that I have Windows XP professional and it'll use easy install which is really cool so you want to go next now if you have a CD key or product key I should say put that in there if it's one of those ones that don't that doesn't need a CD key, cool. This one did need a CD key, so I had to put that in there. Click on next. Um, you know, yeah, okay. I would like to continue just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, I'll just name this uh, video. All right. We want to go next, and it will. This is like a maximum disk size because you have a virtual drive. So. Uh, you don't want to do that. You could if you want, but there's really no point. 
you want to you can make it whatever you want to i mean i have it at eight gigs for mine i mean i don't really need a lot of space but i mean you keep in mind that you can always go back after the initial install and change the amount of uh space that you have so you can uh, up it more if you want shut up phone okay sorry about that my phone went off all right uh you got all this stuff here uh depending on your computer I have 4 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to use 512 megabytes. I mean, not a lot of people, I mean, sure, a lot of people, I'm sure, have 4 gigs of RAM, but you never know, so I mean, I would just use, it, it'll do what's recommended for your system, but if you don't like something, you can always go to customize hardware, and like, you don't really need to change anything here, Just you just want to focus on your memory. If you want it to be a little more, uh, then yeah, go for it. If you want it to be less, then go for it. So then you click finish, and it boots up. I'm not going to take you through this whole install, because that would take too long. And then it starts to set up Windows. And basically, with easy install, it does pretty much everything for you. So, I mean, there's a couple times where you have to press some buttons sometimes, but I mean it pretty much goes through everything for you. You just sit back, relax, go get something to drink, have a snack, you know, it's cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I know I use my iToy as a webcam and it's actually a really, really great webcam. It's really high quality and you get like 30 frames per second. I, I had it on PS2 when I was younger. And I still have it now. So, I mean, the whole reason that I even set up this virtual machine is because I, too, am running a 64-bit Windows XP, or Windows Vista, I'm sorry. See, as you can see right here. And, uh, they don't have 64-bit drivers for the iToy, so, uh, you can just, once you get a 32-bit install of XP on your virtual machine, you can just hook it up and it works per it works great for me i mean i have a really really good graphics card and all that probably helps a lot i mean it doesn't lag one bit but i mean yeah it works great i love it so yeah that's what i'm going to use the record with from now on but uh yeah hang on control control alt okay yeah so that's pretty much it. I mean, let it install, and then you can do whatever you want with it. Like I said, nothing in this virtual machine affects what you do. Like, it, it doesn't affect your main system. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You could go around and get as many viruses as you wanted, and nothing would happen. So, yeah, there you go. There's how to do this. And if you guys really want me to put up a... T you know what? I think I just will. I'll just put a tutorial on up, up on how to... uh use virtual machine to make do the eye toy cuz yeah I'll just put that up it's another video it won't take that long this one didn't take that long I thought we did pretty good so uh yeah there you guys go uh have fun like I said you can install it's not limited to XP you can install Vista XP Windows 98 Linux any version of Linux uh even Mac it's pretty cool to mess around with I mean what the fuck is this yeah so, I mean, yeah, you guys have fun with this, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, just message me or comment, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So, uh, see you guys later.